Alright guys, back again with another DIY video. This video is going to be on the 2100, the one I teased in an earlier video. Uh, as you can see, it's got a few spots in the anodizing that's just been scratched off. It's got an edge over here that you can't really see that's roughed up. A few more nicks coming along here. And right here, it's got a spot where it's kind of you know, off color where it's been touched up. What we're going to do with this thing is we're going to disassemble it and then I'm going to polish it. Make it shiny as I can. So uh, let's get the guts apart and get that started. Okay, all we got to do is slide out this inner heat sink now. seen the inside the guts of one of these 2100. It's got two little inner heat sinks here. And then this is the as you can see. Now what we're left with is our outer heat sink. The one we're going to be polishing along with back piece, two end caps, and we'll see what we can do about getting this clean. Alright guys, so I've got it all stripped, I've got a big tub here and I've got as much light as I can get in here. What I'm going to use to strip this with, it's called grease lightning. Uh, you should be able to get any hardware store near you. This isn't the only method you can use to do this. Uh, you can use Easy Off or Lie, uh, but those are much more corrosive and you could possibly mess up if you leave them in there too long. So I'm gonna fill this up and see what it does. I believe I'm just gonna start with the bottom first and see how it looks. I've got two gallons of this. I don't know if it's gonna be enough, but. Uh, one gallon's gonna be enough for the bottom plate anyways. I will let it sit for 10, 15 minutes and I'll come back and we'll check on it. All right, as you can see, there's a little red tint to that water there. I'm gonna rub my finger on it, kind of removes it a little bit. I'm gonna pick it up and use a rag and see what I get off. It's been about 20 minutes. It's coming off pretty easy. All right, I'll let it sit in there another 10, 15 minutes and we'll see if we get the rest of it off. Okay, here's where I'm at with removing the anodizing. This piece, pretty much everything got off of it. You can see there's still a red tint to it. But this piece, I left it in there for probably five hours one day and it, it just faded it, it won't take it all off. So the next thing I'm gonna try is this easy off. I've seen a lot of people use it and uh, it's supposed to work pretty good. The only thing is, you gotta be careful with this stuff because it could really mess up your aluminum. Also, I'd like to note that this is the first time I've ever done this, so you guys are learning along with me. Alright, I'm going to let that sit for about 15 minutes and see what it looks like. Okay, here's the 2100. As you can see, I got most anodizing on it. They're still hinges of red on it. The grease lightning would probably work a lot better on something that's a lot less deeply anodized as this, but um, I had to use Easy Off. 
and I had to use it a lot longer than I wanted to. You can see there's some pitting on there that I'm gonna have to sand out to get this looking right. Um, there's another method, it's live. I'll put a link to a video uh, showing you how to do that. But for now, I'm down to pretty much sanding this, polishing it up. All right, as you can see, I already got some of this sanded down. You can see some of the sand marks right there. I've still got a lot of work to do on these fins. This particular side, has some bent up aluminum right there. I'm gonna try to straighten out. And on this corner as well. I won't be able to straighten it all the way out, but I might just file some of this down. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I've already started some with the 150, take it down. I'll go over with the 220, then on to the 400, and the 600 maybe uh, wet sand it at the 600. And if that's not enough to take off all the fine scratches, I may have to go up even further than that. So uh, yeah, I'll get it get it going and uh, I'll get back with you guys. Okay, I've got it most of the way sanded down. I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. Start to polish it. All right, I've got it all cleaned up. I went ahead and screwed it down to my bench. You'll see why in a second. I, uh, I don't have a, a buffing wheel, but what I do have is a drill bit with a buffer or I can hook it up to my rotor zip. That rudder zip kind of gets hard to control, so uh, yeah, let me set set up the tripod and we'll buff it down a little bit. All right, I've got my drill, drill with rouge, my safety glasses. Okay, I've got it buffed pretty well. As you can see, the only problem with using that wheel is I can't get deep down in these cracks, but uh, looking pretty good. Finish it off. I'm gonna use a little of this mother's sacrifice the white tea. Uh, yeah, let's get this set up and we'll give it a try. Uh, shirt. A little bit on my shirt here. All right, I've got the uh, roto zip hooked up, my little wheel, little white rouge rouge, and safety glasses. Let's see how it works.